Hi there, welcome back. I wanted to apologize for our technical difficulties, but we're back and ready to continue watching our otter kits and of course, celebrating their first birthday. So, if you were tuned into our last video, we were talking a little bit about what they've been doing, what they've been up to for the past year or so. And if you're tuning in for just this, this video and you missed that, that short first one, um, we are celebrating our North American River Otter's first birthday. So we have four otters in our exhibit. We have Duncan, our mom, our first time mom, who just turned five years old last week on February 7th. And her three offspring are turning one year old on Thursday the 16th. The baby's names are Gary, our male, Bamboo and Ginger, our two females. And so something that I find really interesting about otters and otter offspring is that adult otters will give birth to around one to three pups or kits. And when those kits are born, they are blind and helpless for two to four weeks. So it's really, really important that mom takes really, really good care of them for that time until their eyes are able to open and they can kind of get around a little bit by themselves. And believe it or not, they don't learn to swim until they're about two months old. That's like a pretty long time to not be in the water for an aquatic animal, if you ask me. And something that's interesting about this process is they have to be taught by mom how to swim. They don't just plop in the water by themselves. In fact, female otters will typically kind of drag their offspring or their kids into the water to kind of show them that it's okay and she'll kind of help them out and teach them. So as you can see in their exhibit space, they have so many unique adaptations to survive and live in different seasons and different types of habitats. They've got space on land, they've got lots of space on water, they have places to climb as well. So they are a semi-aquatic species, which means they like to spend about half their time in water. They've got webbed feet and really slick fur to help them um, swim through the water and propel themselves using that long tail. They're really playful in the snow and they like to slide in the mud as well as lots of play in the water, which we see a lot um, here at the Stone Zoo. There are lots and lots of populations of North American river otters in much of Canada and the United States. Um, they can be found in all areas except the Southwest and into Mexico. And since I was mentioning so many different types of habitats. They can thrive in so many different water habitats. So ponds, marshes, lakes, and rivers. And they will even den in abandoned burrows. And this water source that they can be found in is typically only clean water. So they will avoid any polluted water. And so now this is where I encourage you to be cautious about what you pour down your drain and at home and in your yard because this can lead to nearby streams. Now, what questions did we have come in the comments? All right, we had a question from Alice who asked how many babies did Duncan have? Excellent question. Duncan, our first time mom, had three otter kits. And Danny asked, what are the otters' names? Another excellent question. So Duncan is our mom and her three offspring, their names are Gary, Bamboo, and Ginger. And we had a question from Tori who asked, what's their favorite treat? That is an excellent question. And although I am not one of their zookeepers, I do know that they get a mix of food of ground meat as well as fish. Sometimes even fish that are frozen into like small little popsicle treats and they absolutely love their fish. And on our last video, we had a question from Danya who asked, what do the otters eat? Excellent question, Danya. They eat 
fish and ground meat and even ice. They might just chomp on some ice, which is really cool to watch over the summer as well. And Alice said, I bring my kids all the time to come and visit and we didn't even know that Duncan was pregnant. That is a really great comment. And yes, we were not even sure that Duncan was pregnant. So a lot of our animals here at the zoo are trained for different things, including um, participating in their own health care. And so some animals are trained to receive things like ultrasounds to see if they are pregnant. And Duncan, our female, was not trained to receive ultrasounds. So although zookeepers can prepare for kits by, say, taking her weight, um, we did not have official confirmation via ultrasound to know that she was pregnant. So it was very exciting when she had those kits um, last February. Alrighty, we are just about out of time. I wanted to thank you all so much for tuning in to our Otter Birthday Spectacular. So you now have two days to come by and wish our Otter Kits a very happy first birthday. And of course, to you all, happy Valentine's Day. Be sure to tell someone that you love, that you love them, give them a big hug, and we will see you next time on our next Do To You. Bye.